Mystery Skype is a great way to make global connections with your classroom. We're going to talk about that next on the EdTech Vlog. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Harris, and this is the EdTech Vlog. Today we're going to talk about a global connection tool to connect you with interesting opportunities, knowledge, space, whatever, around the world called Mystery Skype. Now let me give you a little background on me. So I think you might know if you've, if you've watched this series of vlogs that I have a, a varied experience around educational technology, IT, data systems and schools in North America and Asia, around the world. And I work as an, uh, um, an independent educational consultant around ed tech. So kind of the whole gamut of what, what happens with technology in the school. As part of that journey, I have joined the Microsoft um, community of learners. So I actually hold a few positions within this space. I am a Microsoft certified educator. So I understand how, how all of their products work connected to um, educational endeavors. I'm a Microsoft innovative education expert. So I'm connected to this community of really passionate people that are using things like OneNote and Teams and, and Skype as we're gonna talk about in a minute. Um, showing how to do these things at an, at an exemplar level. So I, I, I have the pleasure of being part of that community. I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer. So I can help schools, um, communities, I mean, whomever really that wants to learn how to use these, these tools in education, I, I've been authorized to do that. So within that, one of the things that has bubbled up to me that I really like in my work is this notion of um, global connections. And Microsoft has this amazing tool, Microsoft Education has this amazing tool called Mystery Skype. Now, hopefully we're going to have a lot of discussions over the next uh, months or years around different tools to make global connections. Because the power of ed tech is not only in um, enhancing learning for your students within your classroom, but then in, and also developing their communication skills and their ability to collaborate with students around the world. And there are a number of tools that, that can do this. This is one that's very close to my heart because it uses a tool that I use all the time, and that's Skype. Now, what is Mystery Skype? Let me give you a little, a little overview, then we'll talk about some particulars and some real benefits, and then we're gonna talk about a few things you shouldn't do. Because I've run into um, a few people that kind of don't understand some of the particulars of doing a real valuable Skype session. So hopefully out of this, you'll get an understanding of what is Mystery Skype, um, get encouraged to go try it out and go to the website, and then hopefully you can avoid a couple of pitfalls. So what is Mystery Skype? Um, and my joke is that it's chat roulette without all of the really weird people, okay? So the idea is that you can connect with somebody that you don't know, um, but they're vetted within the Microsoft system, okay? And who is that somebody? There's a lot of answers to that question. So when I do it, I'm obviously not in a classroom anymore, um, so I'm talking to students and, and teachers um, in some other country, some other locale, um, and discussing what's going on in my life or my understanding of technology and having a discussion with them that opens the walls of the classroom for them. So you use Skype, you, you kind of schedule with somebody, um, and then it's a mystery to your students. So it's not really like, like chat roulette. I mean, that's, that's a bit of a joke. You're not, you're not just clicking a button and then, hey, connect me to whomever I don't know. You usually want to do a little bit of pre-planning. You really want to know who this person is, and they'll have um, a listing within the site of basically what they can talk about. So, so the process is you go on to uh, Microsoft Education or education.microsoft.com, I think. Um, you look for some people that are open to Mystery Skype, look at some time zones, identify somebody, and then make that connection and make a, make a schedule with them based on your interest in talking about what they have to offer and what might be of value with your students. Now, it could be an individual. It could be an organization. Um, it could be like a science expert, which is really cool. Or you can connect with another class. So maybe both of you guys are talking about the water cycle or something, and you can chat about within your groups what are the key elements that you're discussing. I mean, isn't that, isn't that amazing? And you can use, like, any camera you got. So use your mobile phone if you want. Use, um, use the camera on your, on your computer. Or maybe you have something more sophisticated. Um, I tend to use my camera on my phone because it allows me the mobility to move around my space. And so what I'll do is I'll show a little bit about my home, I'll talk about living in Singapore, and then I'll talk about what are the things that are important to the students and ask them, okay? Sounds cool, right? 
you're making these global connections uh, while you're doing this that open the students' eyes up to possibilities along with giving them the context of talking about something that is related to whatever they're doing for their learning. That's amazing. It's like you're having a guest speaker for free from anywhere in the world. Now, I say anywhere in the world, but there's going to be a caveat to that because we're going to get to these things and these mistakes that have been made in the past. Um, let me talk about my most recent mystery Skype experience where I talked with a group of students in, um, in Vietnam. It was fascinating. So this was a, a, a grade two class, a co-ed class at a, um, at a public school in Vietnam, and these students were learning English. And so I actually kind of had some fun, and I had my daughter and my son come home, who are of similar age, generally. Um, they came home, and we talked to these kids about what, what it's like being in Singapore. We asked them some questions about Vietnam, and what the teacher wanted to do was to practice English. So we, t we asked them questions, we, we knew to speak slowly, um, and we had them answer and share things about their lives. Now, was it perfect? Was it a wonderful experience? No, <laughs> there were a number of problems. But we got through them, and the overall experience was so exciting that the school actually came back to me to see if we would do it again with another, another group of students, which is just fascinating, right? Here I am, sitting in my house in, in Singapore, with my dogs and my cats, and I'm sharing these wonderful experiences with a group of students that, um, that would never have this opportunity to connect with you know, a, a weird looking American guy like me. I love it. And just imagine the possibilities there. So imagine, again, think about this science piece. So you've got a science professor in a university that's nearby who wants to show you experiments around um, you know, noble gases or something like that. You can see that live and the students can talk to them and it costs my favorite price point, which is free. You just have to have Skype and you just have to be registered. So the, the ability, the, the opportunities here are boundless. I've talked to a few schools that will do this from time to time, ones that have done it maybe once or twice. And then I've actually talked to a few schools that do this every week. They will connect with somebody new every week for 10 or 15 minutes have a quick, quick chat about what's going on in that person's part of the world or that person's job or that class. Um, and it just, it opens up the classroom. It, grips, it gets this great um, reinforcing um, activity for the kids. Um, it opens them up to speaking and articulating using technology. I mean, just the benefits are boundless. Global connections are really powerful. And this system is one of the best that I've found. Now, of course, as I alluded to, this previous experience had a few problems. So how do we avoid some of these problems? So there's a few things. Um, I'm not going to talk about the specific problems we had with this one experience. I'm just going to talk about some of the issues that I have found quite frequent in, in Mystery Skypes that I would suggest that you overcome. Um, first off, it's absolutely critical that you have some sort of pre-discussion with the person you're connecting to. So that you understand each other, you know a little bit about your backgrounds, and you can start talking about what's going to be discussed. It's a challenge to walk into a mystery Skype or a global connection and not really know what's going to happen. You know, if, if I'm supposed to be talking with five kids and suddenly there's 20, um, or they're all grouped around a, a little tiny camera and I don't know what's happening, or we don't have any questions in advance that they might want to talk about, that gets, that gets to be difficult. And those, many of us can kind of think on our feet and deal with them, but we want to give the best experience to the kids. So do a little pre-planning, introduce yourselves, see if there's going to be some cultural challenges, those sorts of things, get that figured out. Uh, number two is be wary of time zones. I, I really can't stress this enough. So you have this great idea that you're, gonna, you're in North Dakota and you really want to connect with somebody in China. That's, that's so interesting and I love it. There are very few times of day when both sets of kids are at school at the same time. So somebody is not going to get, somebody's going to get the short end of the stick out of that. And, and you don't really want that to happen. So what, we, what I suggest you do when you're looking for time zones is don't look horizontally, look vertically. There's enough vertical where you are to do some amazing things. If you're in Europe, you can go into the Middle East, which is eh, kind of like that. You can go into Africa, you can go into a number of other countries. If you're in North America, aim north and south. Try, if you're in North Dakota, aim for Texas. Aim for Mexico. Go into South America. There are fascinating things happening down there. And just as many kids that want to talk to you as you want to talk to them. What I would suggest is aim for no more than two time zones in either direction. 
Aim for vertical, don't aim for horizontal. Next, you gotta follow the rules of video and audio. Really, you really gotta do this. And that is, when, when we do like a vlog like this, what, what we know is, or, or a video conference or something, is that people will put up with bad video. And that'll happen. And you know, if you're using the camera on your phone or, or on your computer, it's not gonna be great. Bad video is not that big of a challenge. You can kind of get over it. It, it. It's an annoyance, but it's not bad. What people will not put up with is bad audio. If I can't hear the questions or they can't hear me, it's too loud. Uh, there's ambient noise. That's a huge one. If you're in a room that has ambient noise, that's going to cause you a lot of challenges. So make sure you test your audio. Again, maybe in that pre-meeting. Um, and ask about, is it too loud? Do I have the microphone in the right place? Um, what happens if there's a number of kids talk, talking in the background? Am I going to be able to hear what's happening? Um, and know how to use your distances from the microphone. So make sure the kids aren't going right up to the device and yelling into the microphone. Uh, make sure you're not so far away that you can't pick things up. Get those audio and video visual um, elements figured out. And then number four, kind of this last one, is don't worry about the technical problems. I mean, I've talked about the audio and video, yes, but you're going to drop those Skype calls. You're going to be a little bit late. Um, somebody's going to have some issues. Just stay in communication. Talk on the, t on, on the balls of your feet. You know, roll with the punches and call back if you have to. You know, maybe even establish that in advance of if the call goes down, you're the one that calls back. Okay, or we do because we're the one initiating this conversation. All right. So again, have some planning, get the time zones correct, fix the audio pieces, and then just don't, don't worry too much about the technical elements. You, you probably have it on your phone. You probably have it. You probably have Skype somewhere else. If it breaks down, you use another device. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're trying to get these communication pieces. And again, the, the only technical piece you really need to worry about is getting the audio as best you can. So anyway, that is Mystery Skype in a nutshell. I would highly recommend you just do it. Just go out onto the site, find a few people. Hey, connect with me. I love mystery Skyping with people, and I'm willing to deal with time zones. I don't have to go to work in the morning. Um, I talk with people all over the place. Just today, I've talked to people in Japan, North America. I've got a call later on to the UK. I got one to Russia. Um, I'm talking to Pennsylvania. I've got another one to California. Um, there's a few in Asia I chat with. I have meetings at 6 a.m. all the way to, to midnight sometimes. And so if you want to do a mystery Skype with me, bring it on. Find me on the site, find me on education.microsoft.com, type in Matt Harris EDD, and I will pop right up. Send me a note. I'd love to have a mystery Skype with you. I'll, I'll show you around Singapore. I'll talk to you about technology around the world. I'll talk to you about China. I'll talk to you about Singapore. I might even show you my dogs, which always, always make kids pretty excited. Anyway, that, that's, that's a great way to connect with me and to start these global connections. Hey, do me a favor. Down below is a button to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to talk about other ways that we can collaborate globally, which is something I'd really like to push for within classrooms and schools around the world. So I'll talk about that more in further uh, vlog entries um, going forward. Um, so subscribe below or connect with me on Twitter. So my handle is Matt Harris EDD. And I talk about all sorts of tools. I write blogs. I, I share articles. And this is a great way to collaborate whether it's the globalized PLN of Twitter or connecting students or, or just sharing expertise, works out best when we, when we follow each other. So please follow me on, on uh, Twitter, send me a note, tell me your thoughts, tell me you wanna, uh, you know, Skype doesn't work for you and we wanna do something else. Great, let's connect, talk with me on there, let's start a dialogue and, and let's continue the conversation. Hey, hope to talk to you again soon. Glad you were able to listen. Have a great day.